The militarization of the police in the U.S. Where members of the media are wrestled to the ground and arrested. Excuse me, why are you pointing this at me? Where cops point guns at protesters and activists. Every time you guys show up, you start problems to fight us. What's happening in Echo Park is a violation of human rights for the unhoused in Los Angeles with the atrocious practices via the LAPD. All in the name of, in my view, one thing. The Olympics. Now the key player here is this guy. Somehow it's a sweep and that people have nowhere to go. No, we are bringing people to a safe side. <laughs> Councilman Mitch O'Farrell, who ordered this brutalization on Angelinos. O'Farrell via HuffPost as Yashar Ali used his position to make supportive statements about Scientology and just a few years ago presented them with a proclamation honoring their work. Mitch is also a big Olympics guy with countless mentions of the event on his social mediums. He honored figure skaters during a council ceremony in 2018. O'Farrell said when we unanimously agreed to host the 2028 Olympics a few years back we knew that we were taking on an enormous challenge and opportunity. We also know that we were determined to make the most of it, to have it be the safest and most successful Olympics in world history, and this is part of that obligation. That includes tons of agencies that, as we have seen over the years in this country, does not always act to help and aid its citizens. Border and customs were on the list? Really? Where fellow stooge John Wickham claims he never saw this chart, even though, well... He undoubtedly has for almost four years. The organization No Olympics LA contends that the 28 Olympics will accelerate displacement and the militarization of police in LA at a time when many Angelinos and officials are looking at ways to decrease policing and reimagine public safety. This excerpt was published just a few days ago. It's hollowing to read now, predicting the future in real time. Two reps broke from O'Farrell, demanding answers before the city enters into COPPSC, a problematic new law enforcement authority established to coordinate local law enforcement in preparation for the Olympic security plan known as NSSE. O'Farrell has incentive to kick the unhoused out of parks because he serves as chair of the newly reconfigured and police-friendly LA 2028 Ad Hoc Committee. And that incentive is to quote-unquote glorify the city following in the footsteps of Brazil when they hosted the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. Politicians teamed up with authorities to kick out the poor and put on, as they view it, a show for the masses. At the 1996 Atlanta Games, one where Muhammad Ali lit the torch, local politicians worked with authorities to pass ordinances and stricter enforcement of a number of anti-loitering and panhandling ordinances, increasing efforts to remove homeless people from the streets in anticipation of millions of visitors for the Games. Los Angeles hosted the Olympics in 1984. You know what happened? In the years leading up to the games, authorities cracked down enforcing laws that made it a crime to be homeless rather than finding permanent solutions to the crisis. The beautification campaign explicitly targeted the homeless. Residents in and around Skid Row were driven out of view as visitors flooded into town. As the games approached, mounted police and narcotics officers launched sweeps of homeless residents in DTLA neighborhoods where tourists were expected to gather, the Times reported. Dozens of homeless residents were arrested, sent to detox centers, or forced to relocate while their belongings were discarded. Whenever you have these big sporting events, there's an attempt to make folks disappear, said Jerry Jones, director of public policy at Inner City Law Center an LA nonprofit that provides legal aid to Skid Row residents. In 2028, Los Angeles will host the Summer Olympics for the third time, and the homeless crisis is just as dire, if not worse. Residents and advocates are asking, will officials learn from the missteps of 1984 to ensure the health and safety of its most vulnerable residents? In short, it appears, no. <laughs> 